Welcome back to the late night edition of AR Casting. And tonight, we are going to be reading some pretty absurd comments that I've been getting on my YouTube videos and some of the things that people have said to me. Um, some of the things I can understand, some of the other things I don't get. But anyway, it is the late night edition because I just got off got off of work, he just got off of work, and he, if you guys don't already know, is Knopf Singer Fishing, and he is going to be reading the mean comments to me. So, Mr. Knopf Singer, what do you have to say to the viewers? Well, this is going to be an interesting little video that we're going to do here. I'm going to be reading, and uh, he's going to be doing some replies and talking about things, and we're going to see how this goes. Okay. <laughs> I don't even... <laughs> I don't even know what to expect. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! That didn't look like that felt great. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! One thing that I have to say to you guys is my version of the mean comments or whatever you want to call it is a little bit different than everyone else's. And the reason why is because I am not going to display the comments or the person's name on the screen. Simply because I don't like to call people out. And if you guys want to see the comments, I'm pretty sure you'll go to the video where the comment was posted to see it in the first place. The first comment that you that you are going to read, what is the title of the video? Ice Fishing Fail. Actually, it used to be called Ice Fishing Fail, but I changed the title to I Suck at Ice Fishing. And I changed that, let me tell you guys, when I first started, I didn't know how YouTube worked or the algorithms, so I titled it Ice Fishing Fail because I didn't catch a lot of fish and that was my fail. I mean, I guess you could say I titled it wrong, but you know, that's something I learned over time. But anyway, here we go. Just, just do your thing. Well, we're going to start right here <clears throat> for the first comment. It says, you guys up the ice so we can't skate there because there's holes everywhere okay well first of all if I okay or him or anyone that I fish with if we're on a lake and we are ice fishing since we are in Michigan we're gonna drill holes we're gonna ice fish I, I'm sorry that that you're mad that I f up your lake so you can't ice skate but that's that's part of the sport are you ready for another one I guess. This one's pretty interesting. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and read this too. Okay. It says, F body. Bick bull. Sh First you kill me, the fish, and thou, it what you got. <laughs> okay. First of all, there was no fish killed. Okay. Second of all, people in the comments on the video called I suck at ice fishing saying that, uh, why do I drop the fish or I killed the fish? Well, first of all, he was the guy that caught the crappie. I was the one that was going after the sunfish, okay? And about the drop fish, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, you know, fish falling out of airplanes into lakes, but I don't think dropping a fish up from a foot and a half to two feet no, when you're ice fishing is going to hurt one, but... This is starting just the way I thought it would. And the next comment is, of course, clickbait. Clickbait. Well, yeah, you know what? Listen, it was clickbait, okay? But like I said, I didn't know it was clickbait. And now it is at the point to where if many fishing channels want to get views, they have to make clickbait out of their videos. Just the... We're going to the next comment. Well, before you go to the next comment, I have to say, anyone that watches your channel will clearly see the video quality difference between the videos now and that video back then, and they would have to know. Oh, well, d dude, the videos I did at the beginning compared to the videos I do now, there's no comparison. Absolutely. What's the next video? That is going to be KVD Line and Lure vs. Real Magic. All right, give me a comment. All right. This is a pretty pretty good one here. Only because you're sponsored. 
Only because I'm sponsored. No. By KVD, by the way. I'm not sponsored by KVD Line and Lure. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I do have a partnership with Lucky Tackle Box for Instagram. But other than that, that's it. There is no sponsor, okay? I had to bust my butt to save up money to get the equipment to fish and to film. I didn't just go out and, oh, I'm going to buy this and this and this and this. No, that's not how it works. I had to prepare for this for almost a year. That's, it, what, whatever. <sighs> okay. Lay it on me. All right, let's move on. Next, we are going to do monofilament versus braid versus fluorocarbon. Okay. Now, this is an interesting comment. I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm going to point something out about it. Uh, do a fishing video. Mind you, this person spelled video V-E-I-D-I-O. Okay. First of all, that video was posted seven months ago. And the reason why I couldn't do a fishing video is because I had just started my channel. Uh, it was winter time, so I'm limited to ice fishing only. Uh, I have a full-time job and I don't travel. And uh, I didn't know how YouTube works. Okay? Which video is this from? Welcome back. To another oh, shut up. Shut up. Stop talking. This one comes from Bass Fishing a Secret Pond. Uh, right there. X, 800 million, can't fish. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> there was people in that video saying that I said right there too much or he hit it right there yeah okay i said right there every other word every other sentence okay but can't fish uh, okay i i i can't fish if if that is him saying i suck well, yeah absolutely i suck at fishing what's the what's the video if you have to scroll up and look look not urban fishing oh great um, I have to admit, as I was growing up as a child, he was one of my favorites. So I got to read this comment out. Ernest goes fishing. Ernest. The dummy that everybody laughs at. Okay, well. A-R-P world. <laughs> what? Ernest P. Warp. <laughs> no, it's it's A-R-P world. <laughs> hey, what the f***? <laughs> well, all right, baby. Yeah. Ernest goes fishing. <laughs> I'm cutting it. All right, we're gonna move on to Big Pike hits the boat. Uh, it's just great. All right, so <clears throat> fish take commands well, and they listen to everything I say. And I wish that was the case, and we were that lucky because this person commented, "Get it in the boat, retard." Okay, well, first of all, in that video, okay, <clears throat> in that video, a pike, he, he, the guy right here, okay, he had a pike, okay, and the pike broke off. Now, granted, maybe he could have grabbed it quicker. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Well, later in the video, I caught another big pike, and I was going to grab it, and he's like, hey, man, I got it. And I was like, okay, whatever. Because if I'm in the boat with someone and they want to do something, I don't argue. I let them do it. So he went to grab the fish. He's going to grab it. And the fish flopped, and it came off the bait. It happens. That's fishing. I'm not going to cut the moment out. It, are, there, are there any more comments on that one? There is. A couple more down below that. Um... Of course, you copy John B. way too hard. Really? I copy John B. way too hard. Really? Okay, well, speaking of the John B. comments, let's get something straight right now. I've had a ton of these comments, okay? And all I have to say to you and to you guys is I like John B.'s videos, okay? He's a smart kid. He's great at fishing. I think his edits are cool. But first of all, I do not copy anything he does, okay? He does advanced video editing. 
I do basic video editing. I just recently started using Premiere Pro. He uses a Mac. I use Windows. I do not copy John B. If you take the time to watch the videos, you will see that a John B. video versus an AR casting video. And don't forget the dope beat when you edit this. Are two totally different things. A John B. video and an AR casting video. Two totally different things. Two totally different styles. I don't try to be John, okay? You all need to learn how to handle a pike. First, don't let the pike thrash the boat. Beside the boat, three feet <laughs> of the line for a minute. And, and it goes on for quite a while about the whole ordeal. But, I mean, I need to just be honest and clarify what happened that day. Because it was me. This, this, was, this was my pike, my catch. We went out bass fishing. We didn't take any kind of fishing setups or lures that day that we thought even remotely a pike would hit. I mean, after all, this pike come off of a Texas rig. We didn't bring a net. We didn't bring any gear for a pike. We didn't expect any of this to happen. And that's another thing. We threw it in the video just because we didn't go out there to do this, and it happened. It made it interesting. I agree. And as far as where the person says you need to learn how to grab it by the gill plate, well, yeah, okay. I know how to grab it by the gill plate. He knows how to grab it by the gill plate, okay? Wait a minute. What video was that from? Lucky Tackle Box, I think June 17. Okay. And what did the person say? You know, it's very interesting. Um, you look like a tweaker. I look, I look like a tweaker. Okay, well, is it because when I talk, I'm hyper, or I mean, or would this person rather have me talk like this in my video because I don't? Keep them coming. All right. Here's a pretty good one. This is very interesting. Um, keep in mind, guys, we're Michiganders. What I'm he, a, what he, wait a minute. What he's trying to say is we're from Michigan. Okay. Um, I'm a 13-year-old from Texas. I have an 11-pound personal best off of an OH iLive. Oh. Okay. You're 13. And that is your personal best, which is a lot bigger than my personal best largemouth. It, awesome. I I, I, th I think that's awesome. I think you? it's great 100%. I, I really do think it's great. But keep in mind, guys, 11 pounds is like our Michigan state record. That is, that's just about true. Uh, our state record, I think it's, I think it's like 11 pounds, 10 ounces. And, okay, you're from Texas and you caught an 11 pounder. Well, first of all, I'm happy for you, aren't you? I, great, wonderful. Keep it up. Thirteen fish and catch eleven pounders. Awesome. Correct. And you know, another thing is, I know a lot of people who have caught bigger fish and smaller fish than me, or than other people. And in my opinion, I don't care what size fish you catch. If you like fishing, you're cool, right? I mean, no, it, it's the whole point is to get out there, enjoy what you're doing, have a great time. It doesn't matter if you catch a bluegill. It doesn't matter if you catch a crappie. It doesn't matter if you catch a, a, a shiner. <laughs> it's about getting out there and having fun. Oh, I laughed way too hard at that. <laughs> They're going to think I'm an idiot. Next, we're going to come up to bass fishing rod and reel arsenal. Okay. And this is another interesting one. Looks like you spend all your money on drugs and combos. Okay, I've had a lot of you guys in the past comment about the honesty that I display in my videos, so I'm going to be real honest here, okay? The worst thing I ever did, drug-wise, was I puffed the magic dragon when I was 19 years old, okay? And maybe there was one time I took a prescription pill when I was like 18 or 19. But other than that, as far as the, uh, the the combos that I have, uh, let's ask this guy, Mr. Knobsinger Fishing. 
uh, okay, you were there when I did the video. How many of these can you buy in a combo? Not a one. Absolutely are, not wait, a one. Wait, are any of these combos? Not a one. Absolutely not a one. The rods and reels were all bought individually. They might have been purchased on the same day at the same time, but they were bought individually. Correct. Not a combo. All right. Coolest cop ever video. <laughs> 100,000 views. Here we go with the comments. Wow. Okay. This is stupid because the fish can't scream. <laughs> it is okay. Put the hook back in his mouth. Trust that a little thing goes through <laughs> enough <laughs> agony just to release it. If you go and you look on that comment, there's over 300 replies from myself and subscribers of mine, okay? Because we're trying to help it generate more comments because it gets me more views. You know that. You, you guys know that. I mean, that's how it works. Yes, but listen, okay? I practice catch and release. He practices catch and release. Just about all of you practice catch and release. I've said it before, the only time I will keep a fish is in the winter, okay? Panfish, walleye, bluegill, sunfish, crappie, when I'm eating them. And that's only once in a while. I practice catch and release. I don't harm fish, okay? I actually have something that I want to add from the Coolest Cop Ever video. It was a comment that was posted that would later get deleted. And I did not delete it, so I'm under the impression that Somebody reported it, and the comment was removed. And I remember the comment, because I remember what I responded to it with. And it said, somebody said, what if the guy you were fishing with took you in the woods and butt f***ed you? And my response to the comment was, LOL. It, why, why would you even say that to me? When I make fishing videos with him, or a subscriber, or family members, or anything, there's one thing on my mind. That's having fun and catching fish. That's it. Are you ready for the last comment? Yes. Rare 2001 Chevy Camaro. Oh, great. Wait a minute. The car video that I did with a subscriber because my friend, who is the subscriber, wanted to be in a video. Here we go. Well... Apparently this person thinks the car is a piece of You can buy a cheap car and make it nice. You can buy a car body and a motor and accessories and make it nice. Especially even more if you are in Michigan. It's the Motor City. How many people do you know work on vehicles, friends of yours, that, that take a vehicle, build it from scratch, make it nice? Tons of them, including me. Correct. And, okay, you've worked on cars. Can you take something cheap, have it be cost-effective, and have it be nice? Absolutely. Okay. Guys, I know we wouldn't tell, you know, we said we wouldn't say anything about the person who did it, and I'm not going to, but I will say there's a picture that comes with it, and this person is not old enough to drive even. Oh, so to add to what he said, it must be a, a young person who thinks that if it does not cost at least $100,000 that it is probably shit, right? You're wrong. Is that it for the bad comments? That's going to be it for the bad comments. Okay, well, for nah, I wouldn't even really say bad, but for the absurd comments. But anyway... That is going to be it for us for the day. And as always, thank you for watching. But before I go, I do have an idea. And that is I challenge you guys in the comments to roast each other. And the reason why is because I have been roasted or burned or whatever you want to call it so many times I can't even count. Him and I roast each other. So if... Some of you guys are friends in the comments. Roast each other. Burn each other. Have fun in the comments. And I will see you guys. And he'll see you guys. And you know what? Mr. Nofsinger Fishing 
Give the viewers an outro. <sighs> well, I don't really know what to say, to be honest with you. Besides, you guys have a good night, and I'll see you next time. That was all right.